Marching in the rain conceals this... I have gathered everyone here today to make an important announcement. Perhaps some of you will have heard the news already. I am, in fact, planning to rebuild the Jade Chamber. Rebuild the Jade Chamber? So the rumors are true. No wonder the price of building materials has gone up so much lately. <sighs> the Jade Chamber means a lot to Lady Ningguang. <sighs> Getting involved in this would be a huge opportunity. Lady Ningguang! Is there any way we can be of patience? Nevertheless, the building site has been chosen. They are as follows. Sunset Vermilionite, Wonder Cores, and Adepti Sigils. Uh, excuse my ignorance, Lady Ningguang. I, I'm familiar enough with Plostrite, but I've never even heard of those other two. Only sufficiently large pieces of Plostrite or specifically, Vermilionite, may earn themselves the Sunset moniker. This stone is what allows the Jade Chamber to float. Wonder Cores, meanwhile, are the central components of the mechanical structure of the Jade Chamber. Adepti sigils serve as a means of integrating the mechanical devices with Adepti art. They are as indispensable as the mechanical core itself. Although these three items are rare, I trust that with your connections and capabilities, procuring them will not be a question of if, but of when. I take the saying, time is money, more seriously than most. Efficiency is everything. I will pay a generous price for the materials that you find. And in addition, the first three people who collect all the materials will have the opportunity to ask me a question. You may ask me anything. And I will give you a- These things won't be easy to get- Then, it's the deal of a life- Ha <laughs> ha, what a coincidence! I won't divulge too much, but I heard- <sighs> Oh no... We better move quickly, or this opportunity will be snatched away from us! Ningguang's rebuilding the Jade Chamber? This- So you heard my announcement, did you? What do you think? Yes. Provide- Really? Then we'll never be short of more- <laughs> The construction of the- j I have other business- Remember. Ningguang seems super busy. Come on, we better get going. First we gotta get out of Eugene Terrace. Uh, huh? Ma'am? You seem like an eminent and distinguished ju- As it happens. No. Ah, uh, don't be like that. Why don't you stand- Oh, right, yeah. Did you hear that? They said they had some useful information!
right now. Let's follow them and see what we can find out. <laughs> well, will you look at that, ma'am? Nowhere left to run. Don't worry, we're not bad guys. You g Boss, I got a bad feeling about- So what? She's loaded! How are we ever going to repay those gambling debts if we just let money walk away from us, huh? I've already told you. I don't need your information. <sighs> if you still can't grasp that, I'm happy to repeat it in a way that won't be so easy to forget. Ah, uh, come on, ma'am. You seem like an intelligent lady. I shouldn't have to spell this out to you. It's not about whether you need the info or not, okay? It's about you taking out your money and handing it over and nobody getting hurt. I won't... No more excuses! <sighs> I know you have money. I saw you. Yeah, I saw you. Strolling into Leo Lee Pavilion, ordering a table full of food, and only taking a few bites. Then Shinyu at kiosk, then Wanmin restaurant. Same story each time. You order all the signature dishes, take a few bites, then you're on your way again. How could you afford to be so wasteful if you weren't from a rich family? And since you're so rich, what's the loss to you in giving us a little spare change, huh? Master warned me not to lay a hand on anyone in Liyue Harbor. But here we are. Hmm. Perhaps... Ah, uh, yes. Let's call it fate. Boss, I'm telling you, something's not right. What are you afraid of? We're just selling information. It's not illegal. If she lays a finger on us, all the better. We'll sue her- Oh, you again. Well, what are the Millilith doing here? Did you do this? You ought to mind your own business, I swear! Silence! How dare you threaten innocent civilians! You're coming with us. <laughs> no, no, don't, 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 don't be angry, sir. P p p please, let me explain. <sighs> Shen He. Shen He? My name. Oh, so your name's Shen He. Paimon's name is... Well, Paimon. And this is Paimon's travel buddy. Oh, I've heard about you two before. <sighs> Thank you for helping to defuse the situation. Uh, I could have dealt with it myself, though. <sighs> I suspect smashing his head against the ground a handful of times is all it would have taken to get him to surrender. I can't do that! That's way too violent! This is Leela Harbor! There are laws against the- Laws? <sighs> no. Apparently not. Really? So, how exactly have you- <sighs> That would be my stomach growling. Hmm, <clears throat> I haven't eaten enough. She's so honest. Wait! That's right! They said you went around all the restaurants ordering this and that and the other, but only took a small bite of each dish. Then of course you're still hungry! So, anything in particular you're hungry for? Hmm, Chingson, Glaze hmm. Kinda hard to explain. Hmm. Anyway, Booba Pharmacy's not far away. Let's take Shenhan! After all, you can't work on an empty stomach! Do you think Shenha might be an adeptus? It seems like it's her first. Are you here to buy some herbs? I do hope you brought your prescription. Chingsing Glaze Lily and what kind of prescription is this? Sounds more like a lunch order. <laughs> oh, here you go. That's everything we have in stock. 
Thank you. She's really eating them! <sighs> My hunger has now abated. Thank you. Rather awful. Though they were not completely devoid of sweet fragrance, after consuming a large quantity of them, bitterness is all that remains. So, how come you chow down on these and barely touch the restaurant food? If Paimon had enough, Mora, Paimon would go to the fanciest restaurant in town and order a whole table of food and eat it all in one go! Because I'm not sure whether I will remain here in the future. The food of the mortal realm is most delicious, but should I return to the mountains, yearning for the food here shall only pose an obstacle to my continued spiritual development. Sampling each dish in order to appreciate its taste is enough. Return to the mountain? Mm, enough about me. Oh, right, and... Hmm, I see. <laughs> yep! Were you interested? Hmm, I came for the rebuilding of the Jade Chamber, but... Un However, you have shown me your kindness, and I would now like to lend you my assistance. Oh, don't worry. I ask for nothing in return. Wow! But having an Adeptus help out... Then let's not delay. Great! Hmm... I am not sure whether or to what extent we simply need to dis- Veto! That is not acceptable! Not by a long shot! Really? But I hear that competition- Look, we want to win this competition! Fair and squid sunset from- I was wondering who I could hear arguing over there. Bye, you. What are you- Lady Ningguang. Huh? I'm not too sh- Oh. Ah, the ver- as far as the record- Okay then, let's go ask at the Feiyun Commerce Guild. Thanks, Baiju! You're quite welcome. Master Singcho, thank goodness you're finally back. Oh? Why do I detect an urgency in your voice? The guild has had a whole s- Your father gave me spec- I see. Oh, how wonderful. Hey, Xingqiu! Glad you're here. We want to ask you for some information. Traveler, Paimon, Shu, I need to entertain some guests. Please continue with your work for the time being, and we'll discuss the matter of the guild's orders in more detail later on. Understood, Master Singcho. Then I will leave you in peace. I wasn't counting on finding you here today. What's going on? And how, pray tell, may I be of service? Xingqiu, have you ever heard of Sunset Vermilionite? Oh, I see. So you've entered Lady Ningguang's contest as well. As well? Do you mean... The truth is, we are holding it on behalf at the end of the day. Honestly, I would recommend. But... Don't panic. Who? Oh, Seagazer was once very close to Mountain Shaper, but if I am not mistaken, he has already passed away. Yes, precisely. I didn't know anyone else knew about him. According to records of drifting after Seagazer, luckily. That's great! Wouldn't it be a. <laughs> You need an open-minded. Just a rumor I heard out in the mountains. <sighs> All right, then. <sighs> oh, I almost forgot. Adept- Okay, we will- Here, but Paimon doesn't see anything. 
Hmm. This place was hidden using a special adept eye. Wow, that's amazing! Yep, let's take another look around! Hey, look! Is that a new Sealy over there? Let's investigate this further. The campaign begins. Waterfall just now? How did we suddenly end up here? Oh, so many clouds. Hmm, I believe that with any luck, this. Really? Look, it's gone and snuck beneath the clouds. And now that Paimon takes a closer look, the rocks and trees here don't seem complete. These are not real clouds. They are the product. If we want to go down, we must first destroy the mechanism that... All right, then let's... I sense the presence of...
It appears that we've been taken for intruders. This time, why not allow me to take care of this? Feeble! I condemn you! More speed! Allow me! Obey! Transfiguration! Transfiguration! Moments of birth! The core of the mechanism is exposed. Now's our chance. Take your true form! My will embodied! Cryo Incarnate! We need to go further down. But before that, let's destroy the guard mechanisms on this level first. Feel this ancient power.
condemn you! Take your true form! Unleash! Obey! Cryo Incarnate! Witness my great undertaking! Beg for mercy! Hold the line! Unleash! Take your true form! Transfiguration! Dreams! Obey! Now you shall perish! Vengeance will be mine! Eye for an eye! Take your true form! Transfiguration! Coming to be! Moment of birth! Shudder! I condemn you! Unleash! Rust and rebuild! By ordinance divine! Shine down! Let's move out! Hold the line! Inazuma shines eternal! There is no escape! Transfiguration! Blood of Frost! Eye for an eye! Do your master's bidding! My will embodied! Transfiguration! Prostrate doesn't float until it's activated. Only after being act- Wow, Shen- Only because my- I don't care for her stories most of the time. Hold on a 
that if we activate it here, there's no way we'll be able to get it back to the site, right? But if we... Don't worry. I can handle the weight quite easily. Are you sure? Uh, be careful. Please don't worry. I'm well up my safety. That's right! You gotta be extra... Hmm. I'll go on ahead with... How is Shenmue able to carry that huge rock all by herself? Huh. Adept at super strength much? We can't slow down yet. Oh my god, I can't believe my eyes. How can she lift that massive rock all by herself? She's got to be one of those Adepti, surely. Oh, mighty Adeptus, please give me your blessing, so that in the coming year I may reap a more bountiful sa- This is top tier in size and quality, and the condition it's in is quite simply- I'm going to award- My name isn't imp- I was just delivering this for some other people. They should be here any minute now. Ah, so you're the ones behind this. No wonder. The rarest talent turned, but I have to correct you on- <laughs> In truth, if everything goes according to- As a side note, now, please excuse- Shenhua, Shenhua, just now on the way over, pretty much every- Oh. What kind of re- Whenever- I've had similar compliments before. They call me an adeptus, treat me with great deference and respect, yeah, cause that's how adept I are. At least the one- But uh, I am not... Uh... Shenna? I'm fine. I've been exerting myself quite a lot ever since we set foot in that abode. Uh, I'm just a little fatigued. Um, well, Byron said that there are some makeshift hotels we can use, right? Let's go- <sighs> No need. You can do that. When you're hungry, you go eat something tasty. And when you're tired, you go lie down in a nice, comfy bed. Alright? Seriously, don't punish yourself like this. Okay. If you insist. Great! N More speed! More speed. Hi there. Checking in, are we? You're just in time. We only have two rooms left. Since this was chosen so... Great! One of your rooms is... Here are your keys? Shenha, you should go get some rest. We'll hang around outside until the other room's ready. Hyman's gonna go... Let's buy one for Shenha. <sighs> All right. If you need anything, don't hesitate to disturb me. I'm a light sleeper. I will hear if you knock on the door. Mm-hmm. See you tomorrow. Hey! Isn't that Cloud Retainer? What's she doing here? Let's go and... One trusts you have met Shen He. So, are you getting along quite well? So far so good, yeah! So, 
You know Shenhua too, Cloud Retainer? Naturally. Save for Ganyu, who spends the majority of her time in Liyue Harbor. Cool! So calling her Shenhua feels kind of friendly, but also kind of disrespectful. So Paimon's thinking maybe it'd be better if we called her by her Adeptus name instead. Her Adeptus name? Why, pray tell, would Shen He have an Adeptus name? Uh... Don't all Adepti have a special title they go by? On this latter point, you are correct. However, Shen He is human. Oh! Oh! Right. Wait, what? What? You knew already? <sighs> so is Paimon the only one who didn't know? Do you mean to say that she presents differently from ordinary human beings? Well, to start with, her problem-solving methods are extremely direct. Ah, oh, yes. She was like this all those years ago when one first met her. In this respect, she has not changed. One first found Shanha by chance in a cave. One was passing by and sensed the presence of a god's remains. Being of an ever-vigilant disposition, one entered immediately to inspect the scene. Inside was Shanha, then aged around six years old. In her hand, she held a dagger with which she was confronting a monster that was the god's remains incarnate. So dangerous. When one arrived, she had already been locked in confrontation with this monster for several days. Most mortal children are fragile, both physically and mentally, and are highly reliant on their parents for survival, but not so her. That she was able to endure such terrible danger was due not only to her strong willpower, but also to the bloodlust and homicidal instinct with which she was born. One dealt with the monster, yet she still refused to lower her guard. She even pointed her dagger in one's direction and remained ready to strike. In other words, if you hadn't passed by that day, Shenhua might have... Not necessarily. Upon one's arrival, one could sense that the god's wrath was gradually receding. Even had the stalemate continued... So Alas, the mortal world is rife with suffering of every kind. I indeed. However, moon-carved red ropes have indeed served to keep her calmer and more content. They also seem to have rendered her... somewhat inexpressive. Perhaps the red ropes are so powerful that they have suppressed some of her other emotions as well. It is only by fate that people's paths may cross. Now that Shen He's path has crossed with yours, please be sure to treasure the gift that fate has given you. Oh! Ha! Huh. You dare draw such a facile conclusion on the nature of one's present excursion. Ning Guang won if she handles. Let us conclude. So, Shen He isn't an Adeptus after all. She just grew up around the Adepti. <laughs> Oh, no wonder she doesn't like being treated as an adeptus.
Um, hey! So, Shenhua... <sighs> Master has relayed my situation to you, I take it. I'd intended to wait until you came back before going to sleep, but I didn't hear you come in. I was worried that something may have happened to you, so I went outside to check and caught sight of my master. On top of this, you have been acting very strangely around me this morning, causing me to suspect that my master must have told you everything about me. After all, master is... very talkative. <laughs> Sorry, Shenhua! Paimon was wrong. It's okay. The fault is mine for not explaining everything to you soon. Still, for this... I to be fair, we've met our fair share of real Adepti, too. Anyway, now it's settled. From now on, you're our friend! Whether you're an Adeptus or a human isn't the important thing. First and foremost, we're just plain old friends! Got it. Although I don't know quite what it entails in terms of what I have to do. Great! Well, now, but before we do that, let's go to the building site and ask Ningguang's little helper how the progress... After all... Oh, and another thing. We bought some grilled chicken drumsticks on the way back last night. There was a place just... Side! Shenhua, try it! They're so good! I concur. It has a rich flavor, far more agreeable than those I've cooked for myself in the wilderness in the past. Look! Look! The Jade Chamber is floating into the sky! Um, but it seems to be tied down by something. That's because it's not finished. of the jade chamber before we find some once the plastrite is ready we place it into the keel and let the partially constructed jade chamber wrap the remainder of the cons miss bywin we've brought some new materials to submit one moment I'll the construction work has only been able to progress this rapidly thanks to the plastrite provided by you lady ning wong is most grateful and looks forward to seeing more of your work wow can't believe you sourced the Beto? You're joining the Jade Chamber contest, too? <laughs> sure am. Huh. So oh, I've got some introductions to do. This is the renowned Miss Yun, or Yun Jin, probably the most famous figure in the Liyue opera scene. Greetings. These two are Paimon and the Traveler, both good buddies of mine. And this is... Um... Sorry, I'm not sure we've met. Shenhe. I am there. Mm. Friend. <laughs> Miss Yun is also here. It's an honor to find out to be honest with you. Wow. Excuse me for... No, I don't... In that case, Lady Ningguang said... Instead of competing a... Sounds great. <laughs> the plastrite was... How'd I do? Precisely. Huh. Okay then. All right. I'll go first. I have some leads on these wonder cores. From what I've heard, the... We will head into town and seek... Wonderful. I'm gonna take off. See you later. Okay, let's go! By the way, what question are you gonna ask Ningguang Yunjin? I'm looking for a venue to host the performance of our new opera. Lady Ningguang has excellent judgment. Ooh, what? The opera is a labor of love by my father. He wrote it based on a popular urban legend about an... It's called...
Excuse me, master. Of course I have. My name is Yunjin. Perhaps you don't know me, but I believe that you forged some weaponry for my father in the past for stage use. Yunjin? Stage use? Oh, so <clears throat> you must be Miss Yoon. <laughs> Sorry. My brain's finally caught up. <sighs> It's not used to doing much beyond bashing a hammer all day. <laughs> Everyone's heard of you, Miss Yoon. Even folks who don't make it to the opera all that often. <laughs> like myself. So, you're here to ask about wonder cores, huh? As it happens, I do know how to make them. Matter of fact, I made some for Lady Ningguang back when she was building the original Jade Chamber. The types of ore needed to make wonder cores are a little hard to come by. Lady Ningguang supplied them herself last time. I don't suppose you've brought any yourselves? No. We were gonna ask you what kinds of ore we need. <laughs> if I remember correctly, it could take some work, but if you stick... Uh, of course, it's... Mount Tianhung. Interestingly enough, the story of the div... I hear the view there. Perhaps it can give me... I came to Mount Tianung once with my father as a child. I remember it being such a long climb that I could barely feel my legs by the time we reached the top. <laughs> This is quite a trip down memory lane for me. No wonder the legend of the Divine Damsel of Devas- The Divine Damsel of- What's the story of the- It's the story of a girl because- cool. The legend first arose in- In that village, there the wife was out- The vile and vicious monster- What a nasty piece of work! But the monster was just while they were discussing whose child- No! Unbeknownst to anybody, her extraordinary abilities drew the- And so, destined to grace- I really like this story, but I personally think that per- I'm not sure she- Hmm, I've never- Opera is always an inter- When my father wrote this- Hmm. Well, it's- village on our way here. Master Zhang said we should ask the locals for help. Why don't we try there? Hey! There really is someone here! Yunjin, looks like you were right! Excuse us, sir. Can we ask you something? <gasps> huh. He didn't seem to catch that. Hello, sir. We were just passing by, and wanted to ask if you happen to know anything about Sabrosium. <sighs> Is he trying to tell us to look for clues in the village? Well, whatever. Shenhua, Yunji- Sorry, you can go ahead without me. I'd like to have a word with this gentleman. If that's okay with you, Uncle Mingjin. It's- Shenhua. Shenhua. You're alive. The rumors were true. I'm sorry, I don't know how to... This place is desert... Huh? Uh... Thank you, kind sir. We'll go... Don't worry. Mingjin has no ill... Okay. Then let's... Huh? 
is the Divine Damsel? Now that I think about it, she does behave rather like an adeptist, so that's why I've been according to this text. And she didn't volunteer. She was sacrificed to the monster by her own father. Oh, the truth is even more lamentable than the opera. Now I understand why Shen He said the girl was not as brave as people think. It wasn't her choice to enter that ghastly situation. She was forced into it. Oh, it looks like my father may need to make a few revisions to his beloved opera. Although it's not gold, it certainly glitters. So it seems that Shen He's father thought he was summoning a benevolent deity using a magic incantation. But in fact, he summoned an evil god's remains, which took the form of a monster. His obsessive yearning for his deceased wife led to a terrible tragedy. The villagers moved away in fear, without ever learning the truth. And now, this place is deserted. Still, I... But still no mention of Sabrosi. <laughs> We need to go to the middle of the lake south of Mount Tianhung at dusk, and we'll find us some Sabrosium! Let's go back and tell Shenhu the news! One year when I was back visiting, I heard a story about a white-haired... I was a very close friend. I bring flowers back here. Apologize for what? If you'd stopped him, he'd only have found another way. There is nothing he wouldn't have done for his true love. Nothing. Do you still hate him? I don't know what I feel. I'm told my fate is to bear the curse of calamity. So if you ask me how I... It must have been so tough. Shenha! We're back! Oh, then I will leave you all in peace. Shenha... It brings me some solace knowing that you are okay. I'll tell you more about the old times next time we meet. Thanks, mister. We found some info in the end. Shenhua, look. This tells us how to find Sabrosium. All we gotta do is go to the middle of that lake. Hmm. Let's go then. Uh... Miss Shenhua... There's something I'd like to talk to you about. Just now, in the village, we found your father's diary. It turns out that many of the details in the- Why? I know I say that opera always deviates from the truth, but now that the main character is standing right here in front of me, I cannot simply dismiss your lived experience in favor of my father's fiction. It's okay. I like your version. But, uh, My master once said that so. I hope that. But I've never thought this way before. Don't worry. I be In fact, I think maybe you've already started to become the person you aspire to be. Shenhua! Yinjin! Cut the chit chat! Let's go! We can't let someone else beat us to it! Oh. 
More speed. What brings you here? Have they found a solution to the danger in the sea? Nin Guang didn't tell you. Something has happened in Guyan Stone Forest. According to the contract, as an adeptus, I should not- But these things can be unpredictable. Only a single mountain lies between- If things get out of control, I will defend this place. This is some top quality ore you f guess now it's my t Hey everyone, how's the A-team doing? I ran into a bit of a- Leave the wonder course to me- Don't worry. <laughs> Much obliged, Master Zhang. I'll sort that out. Oh? Uh, yes. When we first met, I told you I came f In fact, I came specific- Master also said she hoped maybe it won't work for me to stay- Without knowing the ins of- But now that our paths have cr- Thank you. So- Masters fine by me. I'm actually Whew. the sigils are ready. I've finished forging the things you asked for too. Great! Let's go submit them before someone else. <laughs>
Ding Gong's little secretary. We found all the materials. Oh, already? All three of you found the Wonder Claws in. I hereby announce that the winners of this material procurement contest are the Traveler, Yunjin, and Beido. What? It's over already? I haven't even found the plush strike yet. Oh, I can't believe it. Uh, so close, but so far. I'd like to invite our three winners to please proceed to the Jade Chamber, where Lady Ningguang is waiting for you. Huh? Where's Beidou? She was right here! Captain Beidou has some business to attend to. She will join later. Please come with me for now. Alright then, guess we'll head on up to the Jade Chamber first! This has been a long time coming. The last time we went up to the Jade Chamber was ages ago! Combine the Adepti sigils with the Wonder Cores and insert them into the Jade Chamber's control compartment. The construction of the new Jade Chamber is now officially complete. Thank you all. Yeah! Miss Yun. That's right. Lady Ningguang. I would like to hear your- The unveiling of Miss Yoon's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you say if I proposed that we stage your first performance right here, in the newly built Jade Chamber? The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mountains and the bustling city. It is fitting for the finest performance to be hosted in the heavens. I can think of no better stage for you than here, Miss Yoon. Thank you, Lady Ningguo. You're quite welcome. It's truly what a good opera deserves. Oh, a traveler, Shenhe, Paimon, I'll be leaving now. Do come and see my play when the time comes. You're next. What is your question? I should clarify. Wow. Managing a success- If you want to know how to- Wow. Your question was written, so I promise you that should you want- <gasps> Questions from us. Shenha, you got a question? Me? Yes, this is a group effort. Thank you. But I don't have anything to ask. Are you sure? This is a once in a lifetime opportunity. Yeah, just don't waste it. Lady Ningguang, do you think I can ever fit in in Liyue Harbor? Now that is an interesting question. Liyue Harbor is very inclusive. As long as you respect the rules here, you will not be turned away. So, the key is whether or not you... Oh. Yes. Perhaps someone you've met, or... In short. Oh. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet. I'm a little later than expected. Come on, Beidou! It's your turn! Do you have a question for Ningguang? Me? <laughs> Ningguang, don't forget what we talked about. It's not gonna be easy to deal... Don't worry. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch your back. Beidou? Ningguang, what are you talking about? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. Maybe it's better that you don't know. When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the plat. At that time, my wish has not changed. I hope the Jade- And I hope that you can- Let the Ascension Ceremony commence!
The Avenger of the Vortex, Beisht. Who is that? Osile's wife. Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it! Well, <clears throat> let's go fetch the Adepti! No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone! Child, your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society. What are you doing here? We can't let you be the only one taking this risk! I hardly see this as a great risk. The people of Liyue Harbor are well prepared, and she is already badly injured. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. I may be nearing the end of my stamina, but in a fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand.
good eye. Combine the Adepti sigils, the construction of the new Jade Chamber. Thank you all. Yeah! Miss Yun. That's right. Lady Ningguang, I would like to hear your- The unveiling of Miss Yun's grand new opera surely requires a venue of equal grandeur. So what would you- The Jade Chamber offers a splendid panoramic view of the mount. <sighs> You're quite well- oh, A traveler, Shen He? You're next. What is your qu I should clarify. Wow. Managing a success- If you want to know how to make- Wow. Hi your question was written, so I promise you- <gasps> No more questions from us! Me? Yes, this is a- Thank you. Are you sure? This- Yeah, just don't- Lady Ningguang. Now that is an- Liyue Harbor is v So, the- Oh. Yes. Perhaps someone you've met, or- In short. Huh. Hey, what's going on? I just went to see the fleet. I'm a little later than expected. Come on, Beidou! Me? <laughs> Ningguang. It's not gonna be easy. Don't worry. <sighs> Glad to hear it. Watch- Beidou? Ningguang? You'll see when the Jade Chamber ascends. However, it's not the most pleasant topic of conversation. When I first set foot in the Jade Chamber, I stood at the edge of the platform. At that time, my wish has not changed. I hope the J- And I hope that you can- Let the Ascension Ceremony commence! Avenger of the Vortex by Sh. Who is that? Osile's wife. Final follower of the Overlord of the Vortex. Sounds like you knew this was coming! Beto sensed something was stirring in the deep. She warned me months ago. Knowing she harbors hatred toward the Jade Chamber, I chose to rebuild it now as a way of drawing her out. Got it! Well, <clears throat> let's go fetch the Adepta! No. Huh? In this human age, the people of Liyue must find a way to overcome this crisis on our strength alone! Child, your life brings nothing but disaster to us all. At least if you die, I can bring her back. The day you learn how to use your strength for the good of others is the day that you can truly become part of human society.
What are you doing here? We can't let you be the only one taking this risk! I hardly see this as a great risk. The people of Liyue Harbor are well prepared, and she is already badly injured. Only sheer willpower is keeping her alive. I may be nearing the end of my stamina, but in the fight to the death, I think I have the upper hand.
This place is unstable. It is too risky to continue pursuing her. If the place collapsed, the consequences would be disastrous. Let's head back. I'm just a little exhausted. Otherwise, fine. I wanted to deal with it myself. I didn't expect you to follow me. Don't worry. She's not coming back anytime soon. After an injury like that, she'll likely seek refuge somewhere else. How did things go underwater? It's been dealt with. Good. Lady Ningguang, the fleet reports that the sea monster has left Guyan. Thank you. Thanks to the medical supplies you prepared and Lady Keqing's command, our losses were minimal. Of course, we owe huge thanks to this young lady for her help. On behalf of the entire Melilith. I... Uh, great. I wasn't trying to be a... Let the soldiers recuperate. But don't let your guard down. Yes, ma'am. You've been monitoring us for some time now. Hmm. You wish to hear... That, I do not. If it came to it, I could always destroy another Jade Chamber. One has observed your adaptation of the Guizhong Ballista, and find oneself compelled to admit that you have evidence some degree. You have learned from Hence on balance. One finds your performance during this- While the position- Shenhe. Hopefully the- Yes. I feel happier than I ex- mm. Good. In fact- There'll be no- Oh. Fine. Since you care not to listen, one shan't be telling you. One shall be going homeward now. Please, have a good rest. We must celebrate both. Wow! Everyone's already seen it! It's Paimon's first time with Tim. All of you here are those who don't drink out. Have you heard? Miss Yun sure have. I hear she's going to perform the Hey! Look!
冠到这里本该接近尾声，但今日我再添一笔，唱一祝。茫茫天地无依靠，孤身离去。今日再会，新朋旧友坐满堂，共聚此时。Thanks to you, the play has an ending, but life. Thank you, Miss Yun. <laughs> Here you are, huh? Hey, this young lady with the white hair looks like some kind of V. Wait, you're the girl from the opera, aren't you? The divine damsel herself. And look who else we have here: the illustrious traveler. Well, I'll be. <laughs> This was definitely worth showing up for. Let me pull up a chair. All right, we'll all have a friendly chat, get better acquainted. <sighs> Alternatively, you could leave us alone. That is, if you'd prefer to finish your drink via the orifice of your own choice. Uh oh, this feels all too familiar. Shenhua's back to her old self again. Hey, what are you doing? Calm down, Shenhua. Calm down. Understood. I just have to stand here, right? What is the situation?
More speed. For mercy.
Knights and aristocrats share the same cultural heritage, but the knights had enough sense to do away with all the superfluous detail. There is no escape! Inazuma shines eternal! Are you? Make for mercy! Do your master's bidding! Vengeance will be mine! Eye for an eye! <laughs> Let me amuse myself a little. Shine down! Now you shall perish! Shudder! Shattered.
Beg for mercy. This should be fun. Huh? Flash Frost. Let us cross sword. Hold the line. This was well. Rack and ruin. Shine down. This is hard for a break yet. There is no escape! Inazuma shines eternal! Blood of Frost! It is a time for a break yet! My work finished! This one's done! Illusion shattered! There is no escape! Now you shall perish! Disgusting! Thank <laughs> you.
My pole arm doesn't distinguish friend from foe, and there is clearly a limit to the Red Rope's power. That's why I loathe crowded areas. Speed. 
trees to the core! Rack and ruin! for mercy. Mercy.
More speed. Shudder! I condemn you! Vengeance will be mine! Eye for an eye! Hold the line! Let's move up! Shine down! Ha! Ha! Thank <laughs> you. 
let us up. Crush! Illusion! Oh. Insolent! All right. What exactly is teamwork?
The assumption that every person has somewhere to call home is naive. 
I got used to living in the mountains alongside the birds and beasts a long time ago. Speed. Crush. Yeah. Yeah. I condemn you. Shine down. Rack and ruin. Rest and leave it! Now you shall perish! Vengeance will be mine! I condemn you! Cryo incarnate! There is no escape! Huh. Inazuma shines eternal! Huh. 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 Illusion shattered! Inactivity serves no purpose whatsoever.
a lucky day!
I shall not yield! Hold the line! All right.
Time to go. Time to go. I will do as you can.
Things. What are they used for?
Please. More speed. speed.
More speed. More speed.
More speed. Aristocratic etiquette is all just for show. Just smile and nod. I was forced to learn all of the rules by heart, but even I don't take them that seriously. Speed. I can put these to good use.
Understood. Burst forth! Feel this ancient power! Beg for mercy! Yeah. Hold the line! Shut up! Yeah. Freeze to the core! Eye for an eye! Shine down! Torn to oblivion! Witness my great undertaking! Rest is rebuild! Now you shall perish! Illusion shattered! This seems my research... is over. I condemn you! Torn to oblivion! Crush! Hold the line! Shine down! Take them. I have no need. Speed, time to scout. Shudder! Rest and rebuild! Inazuma shines eternal! There is 
no escape! Good three! Allow me! Freeze to the core! Rack and ruin! Burst forth! Moments of birth! Shine down! Now you shall perish! It's not gold, and certainly glitters.
beg for mercy. Allow me! Shut up! Feel this ancient power. There is no escape! Vengeance will be mine! I condemn you! Burst and rebuild! Eye for an eye! Ha! 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 Ha!
More speed. Allow me! Understood. Your true form.